welcome back to Life of Learn. Oh my gosh, look at all the fly hairs that I have. Let me get some hairspray real quick. I like this hairspray, but I don't. It doesn't really hold my baby hairs down, but it does smell pretty good is the Moroccan oil. So today I'm gonna be giving you guys some tea. I'm gonna be giving you guys some tea while I get ready. So today I'm gonna be doing like a very light, minimal look. Today is Vivi's back to school night. So I don't wanna be going like full face glammed out to back to school night. Why does my camera keep shaking? Is it me? Before we do get started with today's video, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I feel like I'm super low, like, oh, this chair, this chair is gonna give me issues again. This is my old vanity chair. I'm just going to, this is not a good idea. We're gonna risk it anyways. All right, let's get started. So a few days ago, I asked you guys to give me your assumptions about Mwah. yes about me and there was actually a lot of good ones asked you guys for negative and if you have any positive assumptions about me let me know what you guys think about me okay so we're gonna get right into that where's my phone actually it looks like i have like two balls right here let me fix my hair i was not gonna get offended obviously because i'm asking you guys so if i ask you guys i feel like there's no room for me to get offended if you guys do have a negative assumption about me i just feel like people definitely held back with what they thought about me let me find out boogie oh let me not say that word anymore let me find out bestie Bruh. maybe i should have asked like what's something cringy that you guys think about me do you guys follow me on instagram because that was your time to shine honey i already put my hydro primer this is literally to die for i need to buy another bottle already because as you guys see she is thinning out this is the frankie rose hydro primer i literally use this as um moisturizer as well and especially right now since i don't have any face moisturizer i've been using this bad boy and she just smells so good it smells like water like i don't know i can't explain it I use my code alexis fr to get your hands on this hydro primer it's so bomb i need sunscreen now let me show you guys what i'm working with really quick because this is why i literally just can't find anything what what is this see like i literally just can't find anything this is my setup on my setting spray because i cannot find my tripod i've just been losing everything left and right and i'm never like this like i'm actually very good about keeping my things in one place we are going to be starting off strong with the first actually no i'm not reading that i'm not reading that so for <laughs> the first one is that you actually don't like frankie rose products <laughs> i don't know if i give that impression off i actually do use a lot of the frankie rose products the frankie rose contour palette honey i love this thing i use this and this i don't really use these other shades i'll be honest but i do use this to contour and like set my contour in place and then this highlighter is actually really pretty i do actually really like frankie rose products that's why i keep collabing with them and i don't really make that much money off of it so like if you guys think i make money off of frankie rose i really don't yeah. oh so yeah but those are my three go-to's actually from frankie rose is this hydro primer the contour palette and the matte perfection foundation this is from my sister she said you don't wash your ass every day honey honey i should probably be coming at you but i don't want to spill the tea on you but you're the one that literally has to take like three showers a day because your ass stinks so let's not go there bestie my eyebrows always come out looking like cousins but you know what at this point honey let's just keep going okay so the next thing that you guys think about me is your youtube videos you put a smile on my face your videos make me forget about my sadness oh my Aww. gosh that is so sweet i'm glad sometimes i feel very unmotivated to like post videos i like to hear comments like that because that's literally what keeps me going so if it keeps one person going then I'm gonna keep posting YouTube videos. You're easy to talk to. Well, thank you very much because I feel like I'm very difficult to talk to, <laughs> or at least I feel like I give off that energy that I'm very difficult to talk to. I think I just have bad social anxiety, so that's why I feel like I'm difficult to talk to, you know? I'm glad that I'm easy to talk to. That's a very big compliment for me, so thank you. Can you guys believe that the other day I was like in the store and I was thinking about, oh my gosh, like what am I gonna do for my 25th birthday? I'm 26. What am I gonna do for my 20? seventh birthday i still feel like i am a teenager i feel like i'm in a teenage body still like if i got pregnant today i feel like i would be a teen mom i don't know why i just do i feel like i'm too young i don't feel like i'm 26 i guess is what i'm trying to say 
You really want to move, but don't want to at the same time. It's like move houses, move out of Bakersfield. I would love to move out of Bakersfield. I would love to move out of Bakersfield. I would love to move out of this house. We've been living in this apartment, I wanna say for about three years already. And I think that's so insane. I didn't expect for us to stay this long here in this apartment. Does this look orange? It just happened for us to stay here three years. I really do hope that next year um, does give us the opportunity to move out of this apartment and like into a house or something because I want to move out. It's hard finding a house. William doesn't want to buy like a completely brand new home and I get that because the new homes that are being built now just really suck. Like the foundation sucks. They're just not built well. We're kind of wanting like a fixer upper but I don't want too much of a fixer upper so it's just kind of all over the place you know. I don't know and I just want a backyard and you know like with birthdays and stuff I want to be able to throw things like Thanksgiving Christmas at our house and we just can't really throw stuff like that here in our apartment we don't have a yard for all the kids like in both sides of our family to go outside and run around and our living room's not too big and once we do get the opportunity or chance to leave this house I'm skedaddling out of the door you can't go a day without coffee sure can't I would want to I really do feel like I should go to the doctor though the tiredness that I feel I feel feel like I ran a marathon. As soon as I wake up, I am so drained. Somebody told me to go get my thyroid checked for that. You know what? That's what I'm going to do today. That's what I'm going to put on my to-do list. Make appointment to get my thyroid checked. I don't think that's normal for me to be this tired every single day. Like I need a boost every single freaking day. Ever since I was a kid, I've always been super, super tired, like with everything. Sometimes I'd fall asleep in class. Yes, they've checked me for low iron. Every time I even go in like to the doctor, they're always like, do you have low iron? And I'm like, like, no they're like oh because you look tired <laughs> yes i know i know i look tired okay i don't know why i look tired i've looked like this my whole life okay maybe i'm just ugly they've also done that too like where they've done a bunch of labs on me and everything comes out negative i'm as healthy as how does my makeup look on the camera? I feel like my makeup always looks different on the camera. I'm looking at myself in the mirror and it's actually looking good. It's looking like it's blending good. And then I look on the camera and it just gives me something completely different. I don't know. You are a great partner. Aww. I needed to hear that, especially today, okay? Because sometimes I just feel like I'm not a great partner. Obviously there's always room for improvement in your relationship. Thank you for that reassurance. On the contrary to that though, somebody said, your relationship with William is going downhill. Sorry, don't get mad at me. Like I said, this is an open space. I can definitely see why people do have that assumption or some people may have that assumption. I feel like for one, we're pretty open on um, relationships having issues and that it's normal. Obviously not normal to like fight every day or something, you know? I feel like people also may have that assumption because he's not really in my YouTube videos as much anymore as he used to be. I don't know, maybe that's, maybe that's why, but it's because he works a lot. But yeah, our relationship isn't going downhill. We're doing great, bestie. You try to make everyone feel welcomed and included. There have been multiple times where I feel very much excluded out of something and I absolutely hate that feeling. I would literally hate for anyone to feel that I've excluded them. So I definitely do try and make people feel included. And I'm so sorry if I've ever made anyone feel excluded from anything. Somebody said, I assumed you were a nice, pretty girl and you're literally so sweet. So I was right. But yeah, girl. I went to school with her in high school, so I love her. She's like the sweetest soul I have ever met. And she got style, you guys. Like she looks so good all the time with literally anything she wears. She's my inspo. So there's actually like a lot of really nice ones. I'm just gonna read them off to you guys. You seem so humble. When I met you at Erica's party, I would have never guessed you did YouTube. Oh, who was that? I don't remember her. Bruh. Oh my gosh, thank you. I feel like I really don't tell a lot of people that I do YouTube. Like if I meet someone new, that's not the first thing that I say. I really don't consider myself an influencer. I'm not really influencing you guys on anything. And I also don't really consider myself a full-time content creator because I don't create content all the time. I don't know. I just feel like I'm all over the place and I feel like I'm still trying to find myself like how I've been telling you guys. You are so beautiful, Lex, and I feel like you downplay yourself and what you are capable of. Y'all are, y'all are gonna make me cry in this video. Like, why do you guys wanna do that? Why do you guys wanna do that to me? Anybody could use some words of encouragement every now and then, and thank you. Every time I turn on the camera and do a video for you guys, I feel like it definitely helps me so much, and it just gets me out of whatever funk I was in. Why do I feel like I look like that candy right now? 
the Duvalin candy. <gasps> I do, huh? Oh my gosh, it's okay. Trust the process. And I feel like maybe I do downplay myself a lot. I mean, we can all talk to ourselves a little more nicer and stuff like that. I try to. That's actually one of the technique thingies, I guess, that me and my therapist agreed to do. You know, like say one nice thing about myself a day. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna reword that. IDK, but I'll pay for your feet. LOL. Yeah, okay. I actually don't like my feet. I'm very insecure about my feet, but let's move on. Somebody said being at home all day makes you depressed. That being at home all day makes you depressed? Yes, it does. I like leaving the house getting stuff done, you know, like errands and stuff, and then coming home. I feel like my reward for like a hard day's work is coming home to my house. But if I'm at home all day, like literally not doing anything, that makes me so depressed and I absolutely hate it. You have so much potential, but feeling like you have to fill the role of a wife and mom holds you back. I don't want to say that it holds me back. I just feel like I do prioritize that obviously first over anything that I'm doing. I'll prioritize filling those roles first before I start filming a video, you know, like do anything content wise. So one thing that I am trying to learn how to do is film those things like as the, I guess, mom role. I don't know, <laughs> but I don't film that because that's not what I want like my content to be about. <laughs> but that's, <laughs> William is my family and Vivi's my family. So yes. So I definitely do feel like I am trying to find a balance in filling those roles and then also filling my role, like doing things for me, you know, for my my channel, my content stuff, like what I'm trying to do, like with my life. I'm definitely learning how to balance the both of them. Anyways, I don't know how to say that without that sounding effed up, <laughs> but I'm trying, I'm learning to balance both of them. I love filling those roles for my partner and for Vivi. Like I do all of that out of love, but I'm still trying to find the balance to do stuff for me as well. I don't know, don't come for me, I don't know. Somebody said my positive assumption is that you always look good, girl. You're so naturally pretty. Thank you, always love yourself. Self love is the number one love you can give yourself. I don't know if I read this one already. Somebody said you're definitely God sent. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys really think these things about me? You're God sent. There's always room for improvement to be a better person. And that's definitely what I'm trying to work on right now. You live and you learn, you grow. If you knew me when I was younger, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry you had to experience that bitter little girl. I'm sorry, that was not the real me. Somebody said you have such a fun personality. Oh, thank you. You low-key are too much for your man. I feel like he's too much for me. Unless I'm just that dense, like I don't get what they said. You low-key are too much for your man. First, I thought they meant it as like my attitude, as in like I could do better. I gotta keep my eyes on the prize and he is the prize, but I'm also the prize. You guys all said like so many positive things about me. I was actually really shocked, <laughs> so. Thank you guys. And then of course, one of William's friends always gotta say something. You tickle William's booty too much. Excuse me, how do you know that? No, just kidding. <laughs> Look at how fast that was. See, quick and easy. Done for the day. So that concludes today's video. Thank you guys so much for telling me your assumptions about me on Instagram. And if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, definitely give me a follow. It is Soltero Alexis. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already liked this video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Yo sé que tú no confías en mí. Tú sabes lo que soy. Te dicen déjalo en paz, él es un boy No, en un